so hi everyone today we will be exploring how you can create animations using anthropic cloud so let's get started by first of all logging into your account now we have logged into cloud so there are multiple ways in which you can generate an animation let's go with the basic prompt first generate an animation for neural networks now as you can see it is generating an svg animation and writing the codes on the right hand side as you can see and then it would be able to preview it so basically it is not generating an animation but generating code to generate an animation and hence it would be able to generate an animation for us so this looks pretty good if you zoom in here very nice now try to generate a similar animation but we will try to generate a 3d animation now generate a 3d animation using webgl do mention this webgl because webgl is a particular library which will help you to generate 2d or 3d graphics in web web pages so let's get started generate a 3d animation using webgl for neural networks now let's see what it generates this time as you can see it has started writing the codes now this is pretty cool click to and drag to rotate it is giving these options as well which is very nice here is the code given if i zoom in a bit you can now see it it is a 3d animation that has been generated and you can download the file as well now let me try out a similar animation but playable as well generate a uh, animation explaining working of neural networks using react it should have a play button as well let's see what it generates i think sorry for the caps in between so as you saw in the first one it was an svg animation the second one we used webgl which is a library and now we are trying to generate a react animation and let's see how these things are different so first one was a 2d animation the second was a 3d animation that we generated using webgl and now this would be finally if it goes right it should be a playable animation as you can see now if i press the play button now you can see an entire animation is going on showing how input from the first one goes to the other hidden layers and goes to the output a little disoriented as you can see but i think it's still pretty good and by multiple prompting this can be improved so this is how you can use claude to generate animations these files are downloadable as well and hope you try out generating animations using claude thank you so much